This is the future. We are five days away from Tenecon 2022, and I would just like to remind you that this event is not only meant to be excited about the next big update of Warframe, but it's also a chance to grow it. In case you don't know, Grofit means growth and profit often used by the corpus in the game. Well, not the corpus exactly as players invented this word. But anyway, Tenecon is always the best time to gain leverage and get tons of platinum or get a bunch of rare stuff that you haven't got yet. I am talking about primed mods, faction exclusive weapons and cosmetics, and a whole bunch of useful things that you need in farming needed resources. I'm talking about the Void Trader here. Okay, hold your horses, I know we can agree that Burrow is the worst scammer in space but, during Tenacon, he will be in the event relay and will bring all the stuff that he brought during the past. This means no more primed disappointment, as all the stuff will be made available, including those primed mods that we are missing, some armors and cosmetics that we want, or even those boosters. By the way, the Void Trader will not just bring affinity booster, but also resource booster and that mod drop chance booster that is very useful not just for farming rare mods like condition overload in Aphelia Saturn, but also Endo, however, I just don't know if it's worth the price because honestly, Endo is not a rare resource now as it's heavily available throughout some specific missions which we will talk about later. In case you don't know, almost every item sold by Burrow Kit here requires Orokin Ducats as payment, a unique currency that can only be acquired by exchanging Prime Parts at one of two of the Ducat kiosks in the relays. Prime Weapon Parts, Prime Warframe Components, and Prime Blueprints can be exchanged, with rarer parts being worth more Ducats. So right now, I'm suggesting that you go burn all those relics that you have in Void Fisher missions. Just some tips, it is best that you do Void Fisher missions with a team comprising of 4 members. This way, you will have 4 chances of getting better primed parts, those rare ones that sell for 100 ducats or, you can even sell them to other players for some platinum. The Void Fisher missions are always available, and I know it's boring, especially for those long time players but, at least now, we have a goal for farming these prime parts. Another thing is, that it's always best to do capture or exterminate missions since these missions require less time to complete, allowing you to farm more prime parts faster. It is also the most played fisher missions, so it's a lot easier to get teammates. If you are with friends or want to get more rewards than prime parts, then there are the void storm missions. The only problem with this is that it takes longer to complete, and not all tenor do it since it's a railjack mission. It would require you to build a decent railjack or, at least board in one to complete a void storm mission. But if you the requirements, then void storm missions are rewarding since not only that you can gain prime parts, but also tons of endo in the process just from selling those railjack parts that you don't need. It also rewards a huge amount of credits per completion, tons of railjack parts and mods that you might need, and the best part is, right now, there are a variety of missions that makes it at least easy to get rewards. Right now, there's a Void Storm Survival, which you can play with a team of 4, and farm prime parts every 5 minutes, plus get other rewards from the Railjack mission. In case you need a good team composition, I have a 4 team deleting setup that allows you to deal a 2 billion damage cap, with red crits, and endless survivability that allows you to stay in the mission for as long as you want. So, there will be no problem even if you are facing those nullifuckers or other corpus tetches in a mission. I have included the link to that video in the pinned comment below. Another great reward from the Void Storm missions is the corrupted holokis that you can use to buy Tenet melee weapons from Ergo Glast, which packs a lot of killing power. Just earlier, I got my very first Tenet Livia, with an innate toxin bonus, and I'm pretty hyped with this one because this weapon has insane slash distribution. I will post a video about this later so go check it out. But then again, the choice is up to you in the end whether you will farm Void Storm missions, or stick with the normal Void Fisher missions if you think Void Storms are a hassle, and you only needed those prime parts to gain ducats. Right now is the best time to crack all the relics that you gain from the game. Burn them all out if you have the time, as, during Tenacon, you have a chance to gain all the stuff you have missed from the Void Trader. Oh, I almost forgot, I think you should need to buy the Tenecon 2022 digital pack to gain access to Bro's entire inventory during his Tenecon 2022 relay. Oh fuck, Scammer Bro strikes again. 
Thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off.